Welcome to the Elevator World News Podcast. Today's news podcast is sponsored by ElevatorBooks.com. From educational programs and books to unique gift ideas and more, the only website you need is ElevatorBooks.com. This site offers books and materials on maintenance, safety, history, legal issues, technology, and more. Start browsing today at ElevatorBooks.com. This is your daily industry news update for October 26, 2018. In today's news, Shanghai Mitsubishi Elevator has surpassed a milestone in China. Uwe Fritz has been appointed to lead EHC Global's Latin American and Caribbean market. The industry remembers Gordon J. Ernst. An elevator shaft accident is fatal for a worker in Nashville. And a Melbourne skyscraper project is finally coming together. Shanghai Mitsubishi Elevator Company, or SMEC, surpassed an 800,000-unit milestone, Mitsubishi Electric Corporation announced on October 25th. Mitsubishi Electric became the first Japanese company to directly manufacture, sell, install, and service elevators and escalators in China when it teamed up with the Shanghai Electric Group to establish SMEC in 1987. SMEC has introduced numerous innovations in China, including the country's first spiral escalators and first variable voltage, variable frequency drive elevators, and, at the time, the world's tallest elevator test tower and fastest elevator. SMEC Shanghai facilities employ approximately 2,000 people. Mitsubishi Electric observed annual demand for elevator and escalator installations in China is forecast to reach 690,000 by the end of the fiscal year ending in March 2019. EHC Global has appointed Uwe Fritz, Managing Director of Latin America and the Caribbean Territories. He will also manage the company's Mexico City facilities. Reporting to President and CEO Geno Apple, Fritz will continue to be based at the Territorial Head Office in Londrina, Brazil. Prior to this appointment, Fritz served as Managing Director of Brazil. He joined EHC in 2011 and has nearly 25 years' experience in international sales, manufacturing, product management, and engineering in the escalator industry. Before joining EHC, he held several management positions at Otis in the Czech Republic and Austria. During his 14-year career with Schindler, Fritz's roles included production manager for Elevators Atlas Schindler Brazil SA. Gordon J. Ernst, founder of Bellevue, Washington-based Elevator Consulting Services, or ECS, passed away on September 28th at age 81. Ernst had a nearly 60-year career in the industry, starting as an apprentice with Houghton Elevator in 1959. He worked in the Portland office and Montgomery Elevator for 17 years, eventually entering the company's management training program. During this time, he served as president of the International Union of Elevator Constructors, Local No. 23, in Portland. In 1977, he was working for Portland Elevator when it was acquired by United States Elevator, for which he took over as manager of the Oklahoma City branch from 1978 to 1982. Until 1989, Ernst worked for Armor Elevator in Louisville and in Seattle, transitioning to a career in consulting with Lurch Bates from 1989 until 1991. With the support of his wife, Carolyn, He founded ECS in 1991. Ernst was very active in the International Association of Elevator Consultants and served as its executive director. He is survived by his wife, Carolyn, daughter, Becky, and son, Greg, who is current president of ECS. A celebration of his life is planned on November 17th at Crossroads Bible Church, 15815, Southeast 37th Street in Bellevue. A 26-year-old man who worked for a Nashville, Tennessee area elevator company died as the result of being hit by the counterweight and pulley system while working in a newly built elevator shaft at an under-construction medical facility on October 24th, 
WZTV reports. The man was helping a welder on the 10th floor when the incident occurred, according to police. The welder heard a noise, lifted his face shield, and discovered his co-worker had been fatally hurt. Police say no foul play is suspected. A 61-story, 208-meter-tall residential skyscraper at 88 Queensbridge Street in the South Bank area of Melbourne, Australia, looks to be coming together after being in the works under various owners since 2014, urban.com.au reports. Developer New Sky Group named Hickory Group head contractor for what will be called 88 Melbourne. Designed by Rothleman with a 3D diamond diagrid facade that draws inspiration from handcrafted jewelry and origami. An LED installation will run the full height of the building, which promises to cut a striking figure on the South Bank skyline at night. New Sky Group's largest Melbourne development thus far, 88 Melbourne, will have 252 units. For more industry-related information, visit elevatorworld.com and be sure to subscribe to our podcast in iTunes or the Google Play Store. If you're interested in becoming a sponsor of the Elevator World News Podcast, just let us know by emailing advertising at elevatorworld.com.